Right, welcome to my first tutorial video for visual programming 1511. Okay, in this video, we are going to look at how to install uh, Python in your computer. In this case, I'm pretty much going to show you how to install Python in your Windows based computer, and then from there, I'm going to show you some uh, little examples on how to run codes and do the basics so we are just going to stick to the basics okay so let me just dive right into my desktop here so open your browser in this case i'm using chrome then just search for python uh, download or python.org all is fine then hit the enter button you can see something popping up like download python you can click there then from there you will see all the versions of so the latest python that is currently available is 3.82 you can download that one uh, it's fine so you can click this download button so as you click that download button you will see at the corner here there will be the package that will be downloaded and it will be showing its progress okay so if you are using windows is linux unix macintosh or whatever operating system you'll be using it will be still fine you just go through the same processing so once it's finished just go and click open then so it's opening python extension right so you'll see something popping out like do you want to run this file then click run and then from there you see this interface where it's actually showing select install to install python with the default setting or choose customize to enable or disable feature install now customize installation but i recommend you to go with install now so do you want to allow the following program to make changes to this computer then you click yes then the whole process of setup will be progressed so for the meantime it's in progress once you finish this you'll be done me i'm going to cut the process because i already have python installed in my computer yes i do want to cancel then i can close the interface and close this All right so once you've done downloading you should come back to your desktop and if you are using windows 7 you should go here at the corner left corner bottom corner and then you click the for the search button if you're using windows 8 then you have to go here if you're using windows 10 then it's similar with windows 7 okay then search for i d l e just like that you will see all this the i d l e stands for integrated development environment so you need to open the integrated development environment it's opening and then yeah you sh once it's open you should see an interface like this one then you can maximize it and then it shows file edit shell debug options windows help and so forth so this is where you have to run your codes okay so the first thing let, let's say for example a is equals to two then hit the enter button so what you'll have done here is to assign the variable a to the literal value two so in a there is two this is quite simple and easy to understand so in, in a single equal sign is used as an assignment operator so now if you say print 
open parentheses a close parentheses in the answer button you should see that the value contained in a is 2 okay so this is the process of assigning so you can assign again like b is equals to b is equals to let's say a name of a person like b is equals to mary then close the parentheses here, the enter button. So in this case, we have assigned uh, a to two, which is an integer. So when assigning an integer to a certain variable, there is nothing you can. It's just writing the, the variable and then you just assign with the, with a number. But when it comes to the case in B, you can see that B is a variable and assigned to Mary, but Mary is a string. So a string is like a weight or a sentence in Python. So to make the assignment successful, you need to make sure that you enclose the string by either single or double quotes. So in this case, we have put these quotes. And then you will see that it will tend to green to show that everything is, is, is still good. OK, so if we go down and then say print open parenthesis b close parenthesis the enter button you should see that the value contained in b is mary okay let me do some simple arithmetic operations here like a like let's say c is equals to uh let's say five right and then hit the enter button you can say d is equals to a plus sorry a plus a let's say a plus c then you hit the enter button then you can say print open parentheses d then close parentheses hit the enter button you can see there is seven so that's how you do it so in this case i just want to show you some data types in, in python Okay, how do you see that this is an integer, this is a floating point, this is a string, this is a what? Okay, you can use the type function to perform that task like type, uh -huh, type, open parentheses, then you can say maybe type, what, then you can say a, then close parentheses. Remember a is 2 because we assigned it to the value 2. If you hit the enter button, you should see something like class int which is a short hand for integer then we can say type open parentheses b close parentheses hit the enter button you should see that b is a string as as you can see here b has been assigned to mary mary which is a string so what i i can show you another example again like let's say m is equals to a floating point which is six comma something let's say five five hit the enter button then type open parentheses m close parentheses hit the enter button it's a float it's a floating point so the difference between a floating point and an integer is a floating point has got a comma and an integer is just a whole number i think you all know this from your school mathematics so after this I'm going to start making a series of tutorial videos which actually shows you how strings are used, def statements, if statements, which is quite of a sim simple task is I will be just showing you, <laughs> showing you. Okay, for example, let's say if I want to use an if statement, I can say if we said a is equal to 2, a is greater than, let's say a is greater than 5. You see, it's a condition which you are putting on this one. Hit the enter button, right? Print, print. Then, because it's a string, I have to put a single dash in this case. You can put double or single. So you can say that's great. Then you can also close and close, right? Then you can hit the enter button, and then you can say else like that is if not a is greater than five then it is to print something then you can hit the enter button and say print 
goodbye. Let's just say goodbye. You can type whatever you want. So let me close this and hit the enter button. Hit again. You see goodbye. Goodbye has been printed. Why? Because a is not greater than than five. So we are going to look at more advanced examples. But for now, this is the basics for absolute beginners. They, I, I see like most people, they struggle with the installation of Python and how they could start to code. But if you then go to your test book and then try to do all the examples, you can see that uh, you don't need to be a genius to know how to code. It's all about practicing and so forth. Okay, see you in the next video.